Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome to our mod mashup. Today we're looking at a dump truck, a Kenworth dump truck actually. Um, this one is one that I found uh, recently uh, after doing the mod mashup of the Ural truck. Someone asked if it'd be nice if they could find a Kenworth or Peterbilt. I, and here is a Kenworth dump truck I have, I discovered a while back. Uh, it does have a ball hitch on the back. That looks like it's textured incorrectly. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Uh, this is a the Kenworth dump truck. It doesn't look terrible on the outside. Um, from what I can see, it looks looks all right. Like underneath, there's not the greatest, and it seems like there's a huge like. Maybe it's just my imagination. Apparently, I can step up on here for some reason. Okay, you can get in on top of it. Uh, there seems to be. What's weird? It looks like the actual wheels. Uh, where is it? Uh, it's not this one but it seems like the actual collision box is like right here see how there's that I can't walk past this little area here it just seems like see I have to like I'm walking over that so see that orange box that's what actually I'm walking over so there is a collision box around here and this is the same thing in the back if you look carefully so when I step up that's what I'm stepping on Anyways, uh, besides that, that just adds collision basically, but besides that, that's what it looks like on the outside. Let's take a look on the inside. Oh, get inside of the truck, there we go. That's what it looks like on the inside. Um, fairly typical inside for a lot of trucks. I think this is actually, looks like it's based on the, maybe the Peterbilt, not sure. Um, although the steering wheel looks like it is not placed in the correct spot. Uh, the mirrors do work, not necessarily the best, but they do work. Um, that one is definitely not in the right spot at all. As you can see, it's even shifted away from the actual mirror itself. Um, that is what it looks like on the outside. Do the beacons actually work? The beacons actually work. So it looks like this this mod will work, but it needs some TLC. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the vehicle right here. So it is a thousand horsepower apparently, and it holds eighty thousand liters. Uh, and it can carry uh, wheat, canola, corn chaff, potatoes, sugar beets, uh, TMR, uh, dry grass, wet grass, I'm assuming, manure, silage, straw, and fertilizer. So it can carry all those things. Um, so it's not it's not a bad little truck um, for that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and fire it up right now. Let me just turn it up a little bit so you guys can hear it better. It's not a bad starting sound. Not a bad starting sound. Looks like they have the exhaust modeled correctly here and they actually put it in properly. This is good. So let's go ahead and take her for a quick little drive here. If I take the parking brake off. So it's fairly loud on the inside, it sounds like. Uh, it does work, those mirrors though. That I think. Uh, I'm just guessing here, but I'm pretty sure the steering wheel's in the wrong spot. Because uh, watch, if I turn the wheel. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be right here, but that's just that's just me guessing maybe, but uh, definitely seems like it's not placed in the right spot. Um, but if you are looking for an American style dump truck, this will do the job. Um, 80,000 liters is a bit overkill in my opinion. I don't think it needs to be that much. Uh, let's bring up the HUD here so you can see how fast we're going. Uh, it goes 90 kilometers an hour, which is pretty quick. One of the nice things is you can close the cover, which is kind of cool. And you can also just tip it wherever you want, like so. I don't know if that actually tips it out. Let's take a quick look at that. Uh, that's not too bad, actually. That is pretty bad right there. I don't know if that's even connecting to. But you can tip it. Yeah, it's going through there. So, what does this look like back here? It's not, it's not too bad back here. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and untip it. And let's go ahead and go get a load of grain just so you can see I'm not gonna fill it up because it takes 80,000 liters but I'm just curious to see what it looks like so if you want to use this particular one it'll work it'll get the job done um, I wouldn't I would personally if I was going to use it oh it's got dynamic loading that's good if I were to use it I would probably adjust a few things just because it is a bit oh, 80,000 liters on a dump trucks a bit much <laughs> let's just say that so there you go that's what it looks like when it fills up. It does have dynamic loading, which is good. The turning circle, mm, not terrible, but could be better. 
All right, let's see what happens when we dump this. It's got the proper unload plane. This is good. Excellent. Uh, one thing we're going to test out real quick is let's grab a couple of trailers. We're just going to test this rear hitch here and see what we can use here. That's fine. And this one works well too. Uh, let me just double check. I don't believe there's a trailer that comes with it. Uh, we're looking for... There might be. I'm just double checking to make sure. Nope, nope, nope. No, it doesn't appear to be. Uh, there wasn't a version of this. I believe there's been two versions of this particular truck already. Um, I don't know what they changed in the version 1 versus version 2 sort of thing, but they do have two versions. So the nice thing about this truck, it does have a slow increase in speed. It's not like 0 to 90 in like a split second, which is nice. Um, so that's one of the nicer things about this particular truck with those mirrors. The the interior, that's see this is always a problem. It's usually it's not the it's usually not the exterior with a lot of these trucks. It's usually the interior for me, which I find it's not as it's an up to snuff, in my opinion. Well, let's just see what the lights look like real quick here before I stop. Okay, those were working fine. That's an example of why this is a convert, as you can probably tell now. It looks like it was based off the T eight hundred, so there you go. The lights on the side do work though. You can see that right in the side of the buck or the tipper. Now let's go ahead and connect up here. And let's see if we can connect to this particular type of trailer. I think we can, but we're going to find out here in a second. Yep, so we can connect to that trailer. There you go. So if you want to have two trailers back to back, you can do that with this. There you go. The one problem looks like you're going to run into is with that little collision point at the back, as you saw that trailer tipped when I unhooked it and so it has a low hitch does it have a high hitch as well is that ball both of them we're gonna find out here in a quick sec let's just see is it actually it doesn't look like it is it looks like it's only a low hitch not a high hitch oh no there you go it does both so it is considered a low hitch and a high hitch so you can use whatever trailer you like for it, which is good I guess for if you want to be able to carry as much as possible and with a thousand horsepower engine you could do so. Um, so overall this truck isn't terrible. It's not terrible but um, it does need a little bit of work as you can probably uh, from this specifically you know it's a convert because that's just terrible. Let's just see if it works of course by real quick. Actually what we should do, let's just test this in an actual real life scenario. So I'm going to use this. I don't know, because this is sometimes the problem you run into with trucks like this. They're not actually recognized as a uh, a truck you can go and sell stuff. But we're going to find out here real quick. So what I'm going to do is going to record a quick course, just so you can see whether this is going to work as intended or not. So I'm just going to start here. And then I'm just going to drive around in a circle. I'm gonna have it unload into here because often what happens is um, it will be able to drive course play but it won't be recognized as uh, the style of implement you want for example so sometimes you want it to be considered a truck but it doesn't act as a truck in course play for whatever reason so let's just verify this real quick perfect so let's just say we're gonna put it on this and let's say wheat and let's see what happens here so Okay, this is good. It does recognize that it needs to be filled. And we're just going to say drive now. We're just going to wait forever. So, it's a bit overkill with 80,000 liters like I mentioned. Uh, it does function. Not as pretty as some of the other mods we've seen. Not as pretty as some of the other mods we've seen. Um, but it does get the job done. Those collision points are a little bit rough. Uh, that you have a huge collision point on the back. Oh, so there you go. It works with course play. So if you want to use that as a, uh, a go-between between different areas on your farm, it might work really well. Anyways, folks, that's it for me for today. That's the Kenworth dump truck, American-style dump truck. And if you have any questions or comments, I'll leave a link in the description below. And I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll catch you guys later.